chapter 4 can we have continual revival the only one inhabits the presence of israel the book of psalm chapter 22 verse 3 the wisest way to answer this question is to look into the holy scriptures suggestions and suppositions will not do in israel as long as the ark of god continued with them they had protection security healing and joy because god's presence was there the philistines found out their secret of continual victory and prosperity in battle they aim at snatching the ark of god away eli the then judge of the day heard about it he fell from his seat and died he was old and fat his two sons also died in battle when Eli's daughter-in-law heard the news, pain came upon her. She was heavy with child. Her husband had died. The ark was taken away. She saw no reason to live in Israel, a widow without the presence of God. Before she died, the baby came the women who stood there encouraged her to take courage because the baby was a boy. She disregarded it and told them to call the child Ichabod, meaning the glory is departed from Israel because the ark of God had been taken away. First Samuel chapter 4 verse 18 to 22. Revival is certainly God's presence, and no one may be so used to God's presence that it loses its wonder. Pentecost was the greatest show of God's power since creation. I do not know what happened when the first stars appeared in their place. I do not know how it felt when the sun was set in its place and started to burn. The first man found them there. I know, however, how it must have felt at Pentecost because I have experienced my personal Pentecost. Though I had been forgiven and healed, delivered from the bondage of alcohol and other related habits. There cannot be another day like when I was baptized with the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus became so present, so real. From the scriptures, we may conclude that there can be no real revival outside Pentecost. Thus, if Pentecost can continue, a perpetual revival is possible. Pentecost will not lose its wonder, splendor, and excitement. Ever since the Spirit descended, He has not ascended back. He came to stay. The Lord Jesus said, He shall stay with us and in us forever the book of john chapter 14 verse 16 to 17 it is not by power nor by might but by my spirit says the lord the book of zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 the holy spirit came with purifying fire 
the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. At Pentecost, tongues of fire appeared upon all of them. The book of Acts chapter 2 verse 3. As long as the flame is kept alive, we shall have continual revival. This is not the special week when an influential personality speaks and special singers appear. Although these programs often arouse interest in believers, there must be a biblical way for continual revival with the local pastor, the same church leadership, and ordinary church folk. In the Old Testament, the order of worship was that the candlestick held the boys with light continually. Light was not allowed to go out in God's house. The book of Exodus chapter 27 verse 20 to 21. If the fire is missing, it is because the oil is missing in the lamps. We know well that oil stands for the Holy Spirit. It was forbidden the fire must not go out in God's house. The priest continually poured oil into the vessels. What happens when the local church neglects the pouring of oil into the vessels? The fire dies, then they wait for a special guest to probe them. They call that a week of revival. The sure way to, co to continued revival is continued praise. While this may be mistaken for singing, praise is different from singing. A continuously pressing congregation is a continuous revival church. Doesn't the only one of Israel dwell in the presence of his people? The book of Psalm chapter 22 verse 3. The ten days before Pentecost, what were the disciples doing? They were continually praising and blessing God. The book of Luke chapter 24 verse 3. Paul and Silas were in a Roman jail. At midnight after prayer, they sang praises to God. A small limited earthquake took place and the jail opened. The book of Acts chapter 16 verse 25 to 26. Though Paul was a great preacher, we do not see him being a great singer, but he knew how to sing praises often in the spirit too. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 15. Beside the continual oil in the lamps, there were the daily sacrifices. The writer to the Hebrews clearly showed that we of the new covenant must also do the same, only that ours is not shedding of blood and burning sacrifices upon altars. By Jesus, therefore, let us offer sacrifices of praise continually. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. And we know that God met his people at sacrifice time, blessed them and spoke to them. The book of Exodus chapter 29, verse 42. Apostle Peter teaches this even more clearly. You are living stones built up into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. The book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 5. As good as him singing is, God's children must be allowed to lift up their voices to God and to praise him with their lips. 
a pouring out of praises should be encouraged. Many are afraid that if this is allowed, it may go too far or out of control. When the Holy Spirit takes control of a worship service, he will not lose control. He is always in order, and necessary fear must not be encouraged. I am told, in that hour, the Lord Jesus rejoiced in the Spirit and poured out praises to the Father. The book of Luke chapter